inadvertently, occasionally, I will get this in the comments. There is no God. It's a lie. And usually it's from a, oh, it's, they got an avatar, you know, cross between a she-goat, a leprechaun, and a skull, you know, a cartoon. Or they don't have a picture of themselves. But the ones that really get me, get this, are the ones that have copied and pasted some fitness model or bodybuilder. <laughs> and uh, y'all are the funniest ones. Because I know a lot of top-level athletes. And uh, they could give a rat's ass about what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> they're more concerned about what they're putting in their mouth, what show they're on, how much weight they're lifting. And they got a call list of people after them. All they can do for me is keep supporting me. So you are a bunch of phonies. But is there a God? You know what? I, I could tell you that uh, I can feel the presence of the Lord. I have seen miracles right i have survived things that should have killed a hundred men right i've even died and come back one time i was five years old and said don't take the mark of the beast right but when it comes to me knowing is there a god i really don't know all right i mean it ain't like i've sat down with a cup of coffee over breakfast and talk to Jesus, right? Oh, I thought I've seen God a couple times. I've been hiring a fruit bat, right? Seen a lot of crap, had some emotional moments. But I think that's the purpose, ain't it? Is that I must have faith that there's God and faith builds belief, right? And belief is at the foundation of everything we do. Right. For you to accomplish something, you must first believe it. Right. Hallelujah. Your weight loss, your sobriety, your career choices, even that girl you had the balls to go up and talk to started with the basis of faith and belief. So it's almost like it's supposed to be that way. I will offer this, though. There is an over alarming high percentage of lifelong atheists. Right and agnostics, that when they find out they're in their final days, convert, yeah. They convert to uh, faith and believing in God. Uh, an overwhelming number, right? But I always like to hit them with this, right? Before I really answer, right? You ever had a family or a loved one that was junked out on drugs? Maybe your mom, your dad, your sister, your cousin, your best friend, right? All laid up on the booze or the dope, losing their life. Maybe you've been down there to some of these bigger cities in these homeless encampments, right? Working for the church or maybe just cruising through. And you see somebody that has got sores, holding a glass pipe, ain't got no teeth in their head, living on the streets dirty, right? And you're moved by a bigger sense of compassion. Maybe you went out looking for one that day. You thought I was going to save them, right? Trying to be a better person. Be a, be a leader. Be a value to your community. Be a role model, right? And you find the one. And you say, look, man, it's obvious that you're having a hard time with drugs and alcohol. And, and they agree. They tell you their story. You know, been to prison over and over again. I can't get off this. And you say to them, if I could offer you an opportunity to get, to get sober, to get you clean, get you in a rehab, recovery house, lead, lead you onto a shelter. After you get out, come to my house and stay for a couple of months. Let's get you on your feet, right? Get you a life and get you back to being a productive member of society and love on you and have faith and belief in you that you could do this. Would you take it? And they look at you in the eyes. Say, no, can't do that. Do you think they didn't believe you? Do you think for one second in their mind that they questioned the faith and belief in what you were offering them? Fuck no, they didn't. 
They just didn't want them. They didn't want to get right, right? The Lord says this in his word that he wishes none. His desire, his heart is for none to perish. But in countless things, in countless books, it says that not all are chosen. And it's not because they didn't, they, they had, didn't have a choice. They did not want to be chosen, right? He says, for those that are given unto me, right? For those that want to believe me, right? But the rest of you sons of bitches, you know where you're going. Am I supposed to feel bad about that? Am I supposed to feel bad about the junkie that turned me down for help? It's just what it is. And it has nothing to do with faith or belief. And it has everything to do with our pride and ego. And desire and want to. And our belief and faith. And it gets down to the simple choice of what we want out of life. And some of you motherfuckers. <laughs> the ones that say hell Satan. The ones that cuss God. The ones that are so miserable that they post pictures of fake fitness athletes as their avatars. Or cartoon she-goats with leprechaun hats. And stars upside down. Y'all refuse to believe what you already know. Right? Because you ain't got to have a breakfast with Jesus to believe in God. I believe in God because he's real. And he's worked all these miracles in my life. And he's gave me a platform. And he's healed people. He's healed me. And although, you know, me and him have never split a breakfast burrito, right? Me and him never drank a beer together. Me and him never drank a glass of wine. Me and him never sat over and laughed about over tacos. Sit around campfire. We will one day. Because I believe and I have faith, not only that I can get clean and that you can too, but there's a God and you just refuse to acknowledge it. Fluid English.